Well, hello. Welcome to Bedtime Favorites by Disney. Today's story is going to be about Toy Story, the big camp out. Guess what? Bonnie looked excitedly at her toys. We're doing something really special tonight. The toys are carefully arranged on Bonnie's bed. They couldn't wait to find out what the special something was, but they stayed motionless. The little girl clapped her hands. We're going on an adventure. See, she's got her toys and she's put them in a bag. The toys were excited, but they still didn't move. And we all get to go, Bonnie said. She carefully placed Woody, Buzz, Lightyear, Slinky Dog, and all of her new toys in a big tote bag. Next, she collected her beloved old toys, Buttercup and Unicorn, Trixie the Triceratops, and a hedgehog named Mr. Prickly Pants. A rag doll named Dolly came too. We're going to have so much fun, Bonnie told them. Bonnie ran off to find a flashlight. Once she had left, all the toys suddenly came to life. I wonder where we're going, Mr. Prickly Pants said. I hope there aren't any scary animals, Rex the dinosaur whispered. I'll protect you, Woody the cowboy said with a wink. Then the toys heard footsteps and stopped talking. We're camping out, Bonnie announced happily as she came into the room. She scooped up the tote bag. A few minutes later, Bonnie and her toys were in the backyard. Here we are, she said. Bonnie carefully unpacked the toys and began arranging them inside a tent she had set up. You sit next to Trixie, she told Rex, placing the two dinosaurs side by side. Buttercup, Woody, and Buzz, you guys will be next to my sleeping bag. Soon everyone had their own spot. Now let's have a picnic. Bonnie began passing out toy food and toy plates. Corn for Buttercup, pepperoni pizza for Rex, Spaghetti for Bullseye. Bonnie, dinner time, a voice called out. It was Bonnie's mother. Bonnie giggled. I've got to go eat my dinner. But don't worry, I'll be back soon. She gave each toy a hug, then crawled out of the tent. Left alone in the tent, the toys began to explore. This is a right comfortable spot, Jessie said, admiring Bonnie's puffy sleeping bag. The accommodations really are quite satisfactory, Mr. Prickly Pants agreed. Well, shine my spurs, Woody exclaimed, noticing an electric camping lantern. He turned it on and a warm glow lit up the tent. He motioned for the toys to gather in a circle. Let's have a sing-along, Woody suggested. He held his cowboy hat over his heart and began to sing Camp Town Races. Jesse quickly joined in and Bullseye stomped his hooves in time to the beat. The other toys began to sing too. After a few more songs, the toys went outside. They still had some time before Bonnie returned and they wanted to explore. Mr. Potato Head pinked through the tent flaps. He had gotten, it had gotten dark. The coast is clear. The toys stepped into the backyard. Look, Buttercup said, the stars are coming out. Buzz smiled. That, my friend, is the Big Dipper. Seven stars that form a ladle shape. He pointed towards the constellation. You sure know a lot about the sky, Trixie said, impressed. Buzz grinned. Comes with Space Ranger territory. I just saw a shooting star, Mr. Potato Head shouted. I think that was a firefly, Ham said. Jesse hopped on Bullseye. I'm going to explore the yard. Buttercup trotted over. Follow me, I'll show you the rose bed near the sprinklers. Trixie turned to the other toys. We wanna to play freeze tag, but before anyone can answer, she tapped Rex. Tag, you're frozen. Smiling, the rest of the toys began running away as Trixie chased after them. The flower bed is out of bounds, she shouted. Hey, someone, tag me, Rex called, still frozen. Anyone? Anyone? I'm wiped out, Ham said after a little while. How about a shadow puppet production? Suggested Mr. Prickly Pants. Good idea, Woody said, leading the toys into the tent. Bonnie's going to be back soon. The toys used Bonnie's flashlight. 
to create shadow puppets out of the tent. Buzz made an airplane with wings. Mr. Prickly Pants made an elephant. Rex peeked outside the tent window. Boy, it sure got dark fast, he remarked. Then Dolly made a pair of bunny ears behind his head. Everybody laughed, even Rex. A sleepover could be, couldn't be complete without a scary story, Mr. Potato Head said. He clicked off the flashlight so the toys would be in darkness. Once there was a little toy that got lost in the forest. The forest was dark, very dark. Just like now, Rex explained, beginning to sound scared. Suddenly, there were footsteps, Mr. Potato Head said. The toys heard the sound of someone running. Like now, Jesse said with a gasp. Mr. Potato Head confirmed his story. A monster was coming. Ah! Rex shrieked as a huge shadow loomed over the tent. The toys all flopped down and went still. The tent flapped open. I'm back, Bonnie said, smiling at her toys. She brought the toys outside and placed them in a circle around the lantern. She gave each one a marshmallow on a twig. It wouldn't be a camp out if we didn't toast marshmallows. She announced happily. The toys couldn't agree more, and Rex was especially glad that there wasn't a real monster after all.